Good morning, it's great to be with you again this morning. I just wanted to share um, a little word that God's put on my heart for this morning. Um, I've, I've left the main light off today so you could see the little, some of the Christmas lights in the background, just thought it would be nice. Um, today I was just thinking about the word that actually came to me when I was praying um, was, what can I give? And, you know, I was just thinking that so many of us, we give out in so many different ways. You know, we give out to our families. We give out if we're working. We give out in the community, in our churches, in so many ways. You know, we, we just give out, you know, to people. And, and, you know, when you give out to somebody, it makes you really feel good. It makes, it just lifts up your spirit. And, and part of who God created us, created us to be is people that actually we're, we're not selfish we don't keep things to ourselves but we give out however God shows us that we can give out it's, it's part of human nature to be able to give and and uh, the Bible said it's more blessed to give than to receive and and that was the you know the little word that was coming to me and I was just thinking about quite a few years ago um, when we were doing we were doing mission and evangelism um, and open air and um, we were there for a couple of hours and and I noticed that there were a couple of ladies that were standing there for quite a long time and um one had like a, a, steer, a tear stained face and she didn't have any shoes on. And we carried on, we carried on and carried on. I just felt all of a sudden God saying to me, you know, just give her your shoes, give her your shoes. You know, you've been talking and, and preaching the gospel, but part of it is, 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 to, is to give. And I just felt really, I should give this lady my shoes. So at the end of, of what we were doing, I just went over to her and I just said, um, you haven't got any shoes. I just want, want to give you my shoes. You know, I, I've got some more at home, H have my shoes. And I, I gave her my shoes, and she put them on, and she um, there were like tears in her eyes. She said, "I can't believe that you would give you would give me your shoes," and I, and I said, "Yeah, yes, I, yes, I've, I want you to have them. I want you to know how much Jesus loves you." And I was talking to her for a little bit, and then they went off. Thankfully, I was able to be um, whisked whisked away in somebody's car back to where I was, where I had a, only I had a couple more pairs of shoes. I was able to get one of those to wear. So that just really um was just an amazing testimony of, of the Lord just touching somebody's life. And then um, more recently, I was on my, my child's um, at the school, the PTA vice chair, and we spent lots of time um, trying to, to give out, to try to find ways to raise money for the school because the government only gives so much money to the schools. And there's a lot more equipment and things the schools that the schools need that they can't, um, that there isn't enough funds to get. So we were sp spent a lot of time, you know, finding ways to raise funds to so the school would, would be better, a better place for the children and for the teachers. And it was just an amazing five years of being able to be involved in that. Uh, it, it just another way of giving, you know, to, to, you know, to, to children, to the school, to everything. So... The message today is, what can I give, right? This is the first part of it. And the second part of it is, of the message today is, I just want to read out, because um, there's two like sides of this giving, is this lovely verse from a carol in the bleak midwinter, where it says, what can I give him, poor as I am? If I was a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what can I give him? Give my heart. I always think that's such an amazing verse in that carol. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what can I give him? Give my heart. And surely that is the message, you know, this time of the year. The Lord just wants us to, to come and, and give, give him our hearts afresh. And maybe for people that don't know the Lord, and you're wondering what what is Christmas about? Well, I can assure you, it's not it's not just about getting drink and eating loads of food and, and getting loads of presents and you know all of that. Um, but it's about Jesus. It's about the Lord. And the cuckoo clock's going off in the background. I just ignore that. So God just wants us to come and, and give our hearts and our lives to Him afresh today. And that's what that's the, what this little message is about. And maybe we just need to take time to make space to make room for Jesus. In this time to just say Lord I'm just coming to you afresh today and I'm giving you my heart my life I just want you to be in the center of everything I do at this time and um, what some Psalm 73 26 says my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever so even if our heart and our flesh fail God is the strength of our heart. He can give us that strength today. You know, sometimes we might blow it or we might mess something up or we might feel, oh, I've let God down or we might feel condemned about something. You know, we can come back to the Lord. We can come back to him. 
and it says my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever so if we need strength today if we need God's help he can be all of that for us today and then I just want to read um this from the Bible it's uh, where are we it's Matthew Matthew 22 and um, verse 37 Matthew 22 verse 37 <clears throat> and this this comes under the greatest commandment Jesus replied love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and it goes on to say this is the first and greatest commandment so the Lord wants us to you know to love him with all of our with all of our heart with all of our soul with all of our mind with all of our strength with our whole being he wants us to put him in that first place and sometimes things creep in, you know, maybe like something might come in like an idol, you know, sometimes sometimes a, a car might be more important or a person might be more important or or money or possessions. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to judge anyone here this morning, but I'm just saying that that maybe the Lord wants us to just come back to him. And if something else has creeped in the way of his place in our lives, we just need to come back and say, Lord, I want to come and I want to love you with everything that I've got and, and just put you in that rightful place today. So, Lord, I do just just want to thank you. Uh, just for this morning and being able to just share this little message today and I do just pray father we we, we just want to come and just say that you know that, that that we have room for you in our hearts and our lives uh, father today and we just do want to come and, and just um, give you the space give you the place in our hearts and lives and we just want to push away all the hustle and bustle and all the other stuff that that can sometimes creep in and and almost like become more important than the true meaning of, of you know of, of who you are and of what you've done we just want to thank you for who you are, for what you've done, uh, for the difference you've made in our lives, for the difference you've made in the world. Thank you that the light has the light has come into the world. And, and you know, all men must be born again to see the kingdom of God. We just thank you that the, you are the light of Christ and you've come into the world. We just want to praise you and thank you for that today. And we just come and um, offer, offer everything up to you today. We just thank you for giving us the strength and help that we need. And we just bless you and praise you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning as ever and it's lovely to um, get encouraging comments and words from people um, which really means a lot to me um, you know to, to hear from people that they've been touched and blessed by God and I will be on again tomorrow morning with another message so look after yourself keep safe sending you lots of love take care then bye bye now bye